So like in four bars, he goes from like this biblical um, uh, illusion, and then this Greek mythological illusion, and then this whole, you know, pale horse illusion, and it, it was just how the, the range. Uh, so that, that, that's who really inspired me to, to start writing. Yes? I just wanted to compliment the line where, with the previous one where you said, uh, um, being a man is more than just being male. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's kind of like, uh, being a man is a title that should be earned. It's not something mm -hmm. you're born with or mm -hmm. grow into. I like mm -hmm. mm -hmm. did, you, did you guys hear what he was saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Danger, yeah, that's what he was luring me into. I'm gonna do danger, but I'm not gonna do it right now. I'm gonna retire a piece of a different poem, okay? Uh, you know, um, many times the alchemist is uh, um, a metaphor for people like spiritual masters who take the base elements of a person, the lead of a person, the base desires of a person, and refines them until they are um, precious metals until their character is perfect. So I was writing a poem about, about this. The Alchemist, actually the reason I even thought about this was on um, the question I was just asked about hip hop, right? That this is a, one of those poems that's almost like a um, free, um, what do you call it, like a stream of consciousness type thing. It was something that came pretty much all of a sudden in a straight line, which is rare actually for me. The Alchemist, turning lead to gold. The true alchemist is not led by gold. What is to be said that sciences that turn gold to lead, and lead countless golden souls to the edge of the sea. There were no shoes on their feet, instead they were lead, pushed ahead. The golden rule replaced by the golden ruler, the golden era, both trial and error. Trials and tribulations, poor libations in places where all meets terror, like an arrow through the heart of the sparrow. It's senseless, Helen Keller, a killer of their pretenses. Pride and prejudice, great expectations, the souls of black folk, the birth of a nation. My God, this is Nimrod, a pious Goliath, violent, speak like the Messiah, told the beast, peace, be still. The beast wanna bark, my brother lift his shirt, show the peace, be still. The beast wanna bite, and the beast eat still. We grind for grub, my kids gotta eat skills. I said the outcast elevators was a the theme of the artist. He said the theme of the artist was less like outcast elevators and more like the elevator scene in Departed. You get shot down regardless. And so you consider yourself a loser, that way you don't have to count your losses. Three counts for the out, out for the count. Dracula out of his coffin, drinking the blood out of the south. But I'm a mere Suleiman, he's a mere mortal. He has a coffin, I have a portal in the center of my torso. When it opens, angels rush out. It steps a soul out of his body and the teeth out of his mouth. They say hindsight is 2020. My hindsight is a 22 bullet, 22 caliber bullet bouncing in my gray matter. The past matters, the past patterns. If I were to weave my crimes in a design, it would be a quilt that would pass Saturn, but it's mind over matter. Because matter doesn't matter, unless the mind makes matter matter. But if the mind doesn't know that it makes matter matter, then the mind will think that it's matter over mind. That's like the blind leading the blind, or the spine leading the mind, walking in rewind, retarded. Maybe the theme of the artist is more like the scene from The Happening than the scene from The Parted. Kill yourself. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do another poem. I'm not ignoring you guys, I just wanna do this other poem before my time runs out. Actually, this poem is a song. Actually, two, these two little things I'm gonna do, they're actually both songs. I'm obviously gonna do them without music since my band is missing. And so, um, I won't talk about it, I'll just do it. Uh, I'm no more than a swordsman, moving my blade through the throat of corrosion. But whomever would like to make their wives widows or their children orphans and stand in opposition to the divine forces. I'm John the Baptist, the headless horseman. Crown you or Ichabod crane you, ashes in my coffin. I'm engulfed in the flames of Elijah, so it sounds like poetry, but smells like arson. 
This is what would happen if Dr. Manhattan was rapping. My death is my birth. My spirit is divine, but my ego is Smeagol. My precious, ruthless and restless, foolish and reckless. The only way to truly live is to die. Meet me back in the essence. Alhamdulillah, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. And I say, uh, Jesus, Jesus spoke me conscious on the path of the prophet. I follow Christ and Muhammad, Messiah and Ahmed, slave to Al-Ahad, sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi, was in the church of the masjid. They lied and stole, they bought and sold, they tried to hold my God hostage. I can't act like it's not deep. I'm not just waiting for Mahdi, and if he's not me, or not within me, the Ummah's one body, so how could he not be? And how is he not me? And how is he not me? I believe Tawheed, the oneness of all things, seen and unseen, seen and unseen. Ya Allah, the things that we've seen, truth is lost and Antichrist king. Oh, Jesus, save me. Jesus, save me. Jesus, save me. Neighborhood preacher, Bhagavad Gita, son of Shiva, screaming, Viva la Vida. I'm Arjuna on Sunnah, Buddha Varugas asleep in the Sufa, Osiris Iris on the signs of Midas, it's kinda like it's Slick Rick the Ruler, la di da di la ilaha illallah, both in mind and body, all else is Nazi, the atrocities of comedies, where African American sounds like Jewish Nazi, I'm Mahatma Gandhi in Muhammad's body, peace be upon him and his family of Mahdi, peace be upon him and his family of Mahdi, peace be upon him and his family of Mahdi, I'm better than I was, Worse than I'm gonna be, my heart filled with love. The battlefield in front of me, my poem tastes like blood. Angel wings up under me, soldiers put it up. I can't get enough. Lovers put it up. I can't get enough. Soldiers put it up. I can't get enough. Lovers put it up. I can't get enough. Whether the Pope or the President, politics is porn. Children on the corner like the children of the corn. I've died and been reborn in the eye of the storm until I told the storm that I am the storm. And every line of this poem is now finding its home in the folds of your brain till your pleasure meets pain, magnified in your dome, till your heart's on fire and you fire on the throne. I'm here to tell you that you are not alone. I'm also here to tell you that your life is a loan. It's a loan, it's not something that you own. You have a lease on life, life has a life of its own. For a finite time, it is loaned to you by the Most High, every vein, every breath, every bone, your body and your mind and your time so precious, wasting the moment, something that we can't condone. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do one more poem, and then, wait, did I do the love poem? Did the broken heart thing, does that count? It's kind of lovely, little. I do. And now I'm going to do that one. That's the one I'm going to do. That's why I said I'm going to do one more poem, but I wanted to make sure I, um, because I told her I was thinking about it. Okay, I have a love poem. I do. What I've been thinking about is I've been thinking my way around this love poem for two reasons. One, again, I'm not sure if I remember it. Not because it's old, but actually because it's new. And the other part is I've recited this poem, and people get a little bit nervous about this poem. They get a little bit, like, Maybe they would rather me not recite this poem. But I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna recite it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh, do I remember it? Okay, I'm gonna give a little, I gotta give a little lead in for this poem. There's a tradition, in, uh, an Islamic tradition indeed, of poetry where, um, there is metaphor and illusion, but it's talking about the spiritual experience as a romantic experience, or a sensual experience, or a sexual experience. I, this is from an album that I'm getting ready to release called The Meccan Openings, and this is inspired by my hajj. And this poem is inspired by my engagement with the Kaaba. And that feeling, the, the intensity and the euphoria of kissing the black stone is what inspired this poem. Uh, the black stone. Everybody know the Kaaba? No. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay, Th good. I'm glad I said something. All right, so the Kaaba is the Kaaba is in Mecca. The Mecca Mecca is the holiest place um, on the planet Earth. This place is the place of an annual pilgrimage called the Hajj. 